Runway heading 2000. All right, I see runway 36. Approach path is clear. Application of power in the Cirrus. Cirrus recommends idle to full power in three to four seconds. Most people step it. You want to do a nice, smooth, continuous application of power, no delays. And it's best to get that power in there. No cast messages. A little back pressure. Allowing the airplane to fly off naturally. Seven degrees nose high. Flaps up at 90. Autopilot's authorized to be engaged at 400 feet AGL. The auto damper comes on automatically at 200 feet. We're assigned runway heading, so we're going to command the... Single key runway heading 2000 Jacksonville 118.6. 18-6, good morning. Six Tango Whiskey. Remember, when your autopilot's off, flight director on, right? Do something with your left hand to control the autopilot controller. Allow the flight director to move. Caps is available. And then, with your left hand, right, fly the airplane to center the flight director. From 6500 Jack Spread, Joe Cal, Simmons 3009, advises Bravo, expect Atlas 36. 6500, we have Bravo. Jacksonville departure, Cirrus 826 Tango Whiskey, 1200, climbing 2000. Remember 826 Tango Whiskey, Jack, ident, I'm in pain, 4000. 6 Tango Whiskey, 4000 with a flash. Remember 6 Tango Whiskey, radar contact, 1 mile north of Ocala. We're heading 050, quick vector, and then we'll get you direct to SSI here in a little bit. Heading 050, expect a SSI 6 Tango Whiskey. All right. Uh, first things first, uh, the code word with a flash. It's from the pilot to controller glossary. It means I'm identing. Everything's under control. We're going to select the climb check. Uh, climb power is uh, being set. The Cirrus climb power is throttle full forward, and we manage engine power by leaning. And with the Generation 6 Perspective Plus or the Gen 7, what we're doing is we're leaning to put the white actual fuel flow on the top of the green target. And 6500 bases are now 400 and tops for what? Uh, 800. Pump is on. thank you. And I've got the ILS plugged in for vectors. As I climb, about every thousand feet, my eyes come back to my fuel flow and my fuel flow targets. And again, about every thousand feet, I will adjust the actual fuel flow to lean the engine during the climb uh, because Garmin Perspective and Perspective Plus uh, with the technology uh, the, A the ADCs are able to calculate the actual density altitude producing uh, the exact fuel flow our engine should be uh, based on the environmental conditions changes every day regarding my CHTs during the climb what I care about I really like them below 400 degrees. Uh, the limit uh, in the POH is, is my ultimate guide. Uh, personally, if I see 400 degrees while I'm at climb power, I would increase my airspeed initially to 125 to 130 knots. And if it's not bringing down my CHT temperatures, that's when I would reselect mixture rich to sacrifice a little bit of engine performance so we have excess fuel to, rem to remove extra heat from my cylinders. Sure, it's 804 Charlie Delta Jack. Sir, 
technique. ATC told me to expect SSI off of a vector, so I'm selecting direct SSI. Just as a reminder, that's where I would go if I, I lost both of my radios. Today we filed 5,000 feet. Uh, this part of Florida, uh, Jacksonville Center, tends to put us at altitudes that are opposite uh, what are in the publications. They actually have a letter of agreement to do that. So with respect to the management of the normally aspirated uh, SR-22 IO-550, when I cruise at or below 6,500 feet, my initial power reduction is to set 70% power on my engine. Because my goal, right, uh, while running at best economy, is after the leaning procedure, is to have my po power right at 65%. Just for jet 94, turn 10 left, vector down. Okay, 10 uh, to the left for Pittsburgh. One of the additions with software version N4 and later is the segmented green, which appears at 76% power or less. The very top of the top green segment is if you were wanting to run at 85% or less, which would be full power. The bottom of the top green is the indication Sorry, southeast. Is the proper fuel flow for best power, which is limited to 75% power or less. Today, we choose to run at best economy, so the next step after my initial power reduction will be to turn off my boost pump. As long as my engine is running smooth, it's going to stay off. And then I'm going to lean to place the fuel flow on top of the bottom green segment. Remember, 330 Tango Alpha, the Ocala altimeter is 3011, reset transponder. Squad. When I get close, I'm going to select the engine, and I'm going to look at the actual fuel flow, because I can get a lot more precise. And I'm putting the pointer on the top of the bottom green segment. And if we used lean assist, you would find that right now we're almost perfectly at 50 degrees lean of peak, which is the limitation to run best economy. Three, three, zero, tango off, Jax, radar contact. Notice that when I finish the leaning process, the power naturally reduced to 65%. That occurred because we went through right, peak operation, and remember, when we operate lean of peak, there's actually a very large power drop uh, for small decreases. Number six, tango whiskey, clear direct Brunswick VOR. Six, tango whiskey, direct Brunswick VOR. So air traffic control just cleared me direct, so I'm going to update my direct. Put the airplane into nav. They haven't cleared me to uh, climb, so I'm set up for my initial cruise on our trip up to Charleston Air Force Base.